Hi guys, taking input from a user in Java seems a bit complicated at first. To easily remember and understand this concept, you need to understand how a restaurant works. Suppose you are in a restaurant and the waiter approaches your table and takes your order. After taking your order, the list is given to the chef. And when your food is ready, they give a token number to your food and by looking at that token, the waiter properly serves the food on correct table. Now what does it has to do with taking input? In Java, our chef is actually our processor or computer. But we need this waiter and this waiter is a scanner class object. So let's create an scanner class object so scanner in equals new scanner and system dot in. Now here I name my object as in, you can name it anything. Now what is system dot in? System dot in is actually an input stream. Imagine this as the path between you and your food. Because we can build a restaurant in Java, so we need a path. And the path is system.in. Now next step is using the next method. Imagine next method as if you want to order more dishes. Or you want to order dessert after your meal. So you need next method for that. Suppose I want to input an integer, then I'll use next int. For float, we'll use next float. For double, we'll use next double. And for string, we'll use next line. Okay, this is getting confusing, so let's see all this stuff on our IDE. Okay, guys. The scanner class is inside util package. So first we need to import the util package. Step 2 is to create an object of scanner class. Here I have created an object in. You can change the name of scanner class object. Now let's take an in integer input from user and for that we need to use next int and I am just printing the user input now suppose the user enters 100 and 100 is printed Let's input a float value. I'm getting an error because we can store a float value inside an int variable. Now it's working fine. Now let's see how to input a string. For string, we have a next line method. And hello YouTube is printed. We also have a method as next, but the next only returns value that comes before a space. So as you can see only hello is printed. Now at last to input a care, we need to use next and care at method. So 
next dot care at zero and a is printed that's all guys guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises i created for you like code archery facebook page and join our group you can also support me on patreon and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos thank you so much for subscribing